Welcome to the Walton Pi. Today we're going to talk about what an alternating group is. So, to start off we're going to talk about permutations. So a permutation of a set x is a bijection from x to x. So, for example, if the set x is the set containing 1, 2, 3, 4, one permutation would send 1 to 3, 3 to 2, 2 to 4, and 4 to 1. So, it's just how do I take all the elements and rearrange them? That's a permutation. So one way to write this permutation is 1, 3, 2, 4. Uh, this means that 1 goes to 3, because 1 comes first, then comes 3, and then we say, oh, and then where does 3 go? 3 goes to 2, so that means that 2 comes after the 3. Where does 2 map? Well, 2 goes to 4. And then where does 4 go? 4 goes to 1. So that goes back to the first thing, so that means we close the parentheses. So that's what this notation means. This 1, 3, 2, 4 tells us 1 goes to 3, 3 goes to 2, 2 goes to 4, and 4 goes back to 1. So, if some elements map to themselves under the permutation, the convention is to just not write them. So, for example, if 2 maps to 3, 3 maps to 4, 4 maps to 2, but 1 maps to itself, we would just write 2, 3, 4. 2 goes to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 2, and then 1 goes to itself so we don't bother writing it. So, next, let's talk about transpositions. So a transposition is a permutation that switches only two elements and leaves all other elements alone. So for example, if our set is the set containing 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, a transposition is 1, 3. 1 goes to 3, 3 goes to 1, and then because 2, 4, and 5 are not listed, that just means that they map to themselves. So every permutation over a finite set can be formed as the product of transpositions. And we write the product by just listing them next to each other in the order they come. So for example, 1, 2, 3 is 1, 2 multiplied by 2, 3. So the way we read this is we feed items in from uh, the right and see where they go. So if we look to see where does 1 go, as we move to from the right, we first hit 2, 3. Okay, 1's not in there, so that means 1 stays the same through that permutation, and we look at 1, 2. Where does 1 go there? 1 maps to 2. So that means our first thing is going to be 1 goes to 2, and now we see where does 2 go? Well, 2 goes to 3 in the farthest right, and then 3 doesn't go anywhere in the next one, so that means 2 will go to 3, and we can see where does 3 go? Well, we feed 3 into the 2, 3 transposition, and that means that 3 now goes to 2, we feed that 2 into the 1, 2 transposition, and then 2 goes to 1. So that means 3 now goes to 1 overall, and that's where 1, 2, 3 comes from. Now we can also get 1, 3, 5, 2 as the product of 1, 3 times 3, 5 times 5, 2. Go ahead and check that one to see if this is making sense. Go ahead and pause the video for that. And so we can be able to go through and figure out any permutation through all of these. And we say that a permutation is called an even permutation if it is the product of an even number of transpositions. And then if it's the product of an odd number of transpositions, we say it's an odd permutation. So for example, 1, 2, 3 is an even permutation, and 1, 3, 5, 2 is an odd permutation. Okay, Because 1, 2, 3 is 1, 2 times 2, 3, that's two transpositions, and 1, 3, 5, 2, that's three transpositions. So that's where the even and oddness comes from. So the other thing is the identity permutation is even. That's just the product of no transpositions. And no is zero, zero is even. That's why we get that. So we now have all the stuff we need to be able to define what an alternating group is. So for a set of n elements, there are n factorial permutations of those elements. And then the set of all permutations of n elements that is the symmetric group of order n, so Sn. So we're not quite at alternating groups, but we're close. The alternating group of order n is the group of all even permutations of n elements, and that is A sub n. So Sn is all permutations, An is all even permutations. Okay. It might make sense that there are half as many permutations in An. It might not. And so, if that's a little surprising, try and figure out why, like figure out the reasoning for that. But there are going to be n factorial over two elements in An, and then the alternating group An is always a subgroup of Sn. So, let's go over a couple examples. A0, that is just S0, so that's 
all even permutations on no elements and all permutations on no elements, well, you can't permute nothing. So that means this is the empty function, okay? A1 and S1, how many ways can we permute one element? Well, it just stays itself. So there's only one element. So it's just the function that maps one element to itself. It's basically the trivial group. S2, that's the group consisting of elements one and one, two. So identity or switch the two things. And then A2 is just the identity. Okay, S3, that's the group consisting of elements one, the identity element, don't switch anything. One, two, take one, send it to two, take two, send it to one. Uh, the element one, three, where one goes to three and three goes to one. The element two, three, where two goes to three and three goes to two. The element that sends one to two, two to three, and three to one. And the el and then the last element is the permutation that sends one to three, three to two, and two to one. And then a three, that's the group of elements one, one, two, three, and one, three, two. Okay, so it doesn't have all of the elements in S3. Okay, now S4, there's a lot of stuff in S4. So we got one, the identity, it doesn't switch anything. We have all the ways to be able to switch just two things. So one, two, one, three, one, four, two, three, two, four, three, four. We have all the three cycles. So it's a little loop of three elements. For example, one goes to two, two goes to three, and three goes back to one. That's a three cycle. And we have eight of those. We have one, two, three, one, three, two, one, two, four, one, four, two, one, three, four, one, four, three, two, three, four, and two, four, three. And we also have six four cycles. And that's the one, two, three, four, one, four, three, two, and so on. But then we also have three permutations that switch two pairs of elements. For example, one, two, three, four, that sends one to two and two to one, and then three to four and four to three. So that's what S4 is. But then if we look at A4, it doesn't include all of those things. These happen to be the um, elements that are um, products of two transpositions or the identity. And so these are going to be the elements in A4. And then you can keep going on and on. S5, A5, but if you think about how many things are in S5, that's going to be 5 factorial. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That's 120 elements. That's a lot of things to look at. And then A5, there's going to be 60 of them. That's a lot. It's hard to keep track of everything. And so that's why I'm going to stop here with my examples. But I hope this video was very helpful in understanding what alternating groups and symmetric groups were. Uh, feel free to leave a comment and like and comment and subscribe if this was helpful. Uh, I hope it was, and until next time, have a great day and good luck with all of your math.